Hello, my friends. My name's Hannah. And for those of you that are new here, welcome. If you don't know, I used to live and travel in a van. Then I moved to a full-size truck camper, but I'd always been curious about pop-up campers. So I've been living in this four-wheel pop-up camper the last couple weeks, and it's been amazing. So I want to show you a full review of the inside and outside. But we're going to do the inside first because this crazy snowstorm just popped out of nowhere. So let's head inside and get warm. Okay, so the first thing you do to pop the camper up is unlatch the six latches on the outside of the camper. It's super fast and easy. You just flip them off just like that. The next step is getting into the camper. I prefer to use these steps right here. They're really convenient, but they're also great because I can use them to unlatch the clips on the outside of the camper. You can get a hitch step, but I prefer this because you can use it for both, stepping into the camper and unlatching. It's also lightweight, so I can just fold it up and stick it into the back of the truck. So what's great about this four-wheel pop-up camper is that you could definitely stealth camp if you need to. There are certain layouts you can choose from. This one wouldn't be ideal, but if you get the roll-out couch that's on the side, you could technically roll it out and sleep here, and you wouldn't even have to pop this up if you had to stealth camp. No one would even know you're inside sleeping. In full-size truck campers, you definitely can't do that because you roll around basically popped up all the time, so it's a lot more obvious that you're in there camping or sleeping. Okay, so to pop up the back after you've unhooked the six clips on the outside, you literally just pull on this locking latch, then you simply push up on the gray beam. I usually put one hand on either side of the locking latch. Okay, so then once you've pushed all the way up, you just want to lock the black into place just like this. Wrap it around this and then just snap it. And you're all done. You have the back popped up. Okay, so now it's time for the front half of the camper, which is just as easy. You simply unsnap this and then you're going to push on either side on the gray beams. Let's do it. Then, once you have it up, you just simply push the support beam all the way forward until it locks into place. Then you just snap and secure the support beam from the ceiling. And then the front is popped up and your camper is now fully popped up. So for lighting, you have two options. There's natural light and LED lights. There's three LED lights that are placed really well inside the camper on the ceilings. So if you press once on them, they go all the way on, and then you can hold down on them and dim them to whatever level you want. The second lighting option is natural lighting, my favorite. There are four windows around the outsides of the camper, and they each have three layers secured with Velcro. So you wanna pull down the insulation layer. Then you have the actual siding layer. Lastly, you're left with the clear window layer. When you pull that down, you're left with a really nice screen. But I'm gonna close that and just keep the window layer right now so I can keep the sunlight, avoid the breeze, and the snow, apparently. Look at that beautiful lake view. Okay, so now that the camper's all popped up, I wanted to give you a general idea of what the inside look like, and then we'll get down to the details. This is the back of the camper, and this is the front of the camper. Okay, so this bed's great. It's really nice because you can sleep east to west, like I'm laying right now, or north to south. Long ways, short ways, you can sleep however you want. So right now, I'm sleeping east to west, but if I wanted to sleep north to south, you simply pull this all the way out. And then you just take the cushions and put them right into place, like so. And now, you can sleep north to south, just like that. Nice and easy, piece of cake. Look how much space there is now. I moved all my blankets and clutter out into the cab of the truck so that you wouldn't have to look at all my junk for the tour, but there's so much space. So it's really convenient and really fast. You can make this a north-south bed or an east-west bed, whatever your preference. And the cool thing is, is that even when it's pulled out to the full-size bed, you still have access to everything else in the truck camper except the dinette.
As you can see, this is how much space you have even when the bed is fully pulled out. But I'm gonna go ahead and put the bed away now so I can show you the rest of the back of the camper. Come join me at my table. This is a two person dinette set. It has an adjustable table that moves back and forth, long ways or short ways, and then you can actually lock it into place depending on where you want it to stay. There are several floor models to choose from. This is just the floor model with the front dinette. So if you didn't like this layout, there are definitely different options. Behind each chair is a window that also opens and the one behind me is an emergency exit window. If God forbid something awful were to happen, you could squeeze your way through and exit the vehicle. Now I'm gonna show you another sleeping option. The dinette actually folds down into another bed. You simply unhook the top of the table Set that aside because you're going to need it. Then you take the post off. Now you move the cushions out of the way, take the tabletop, set it right down in the center where you also see there's additional storage under the dinette. Now you take the cushions and slide them into place and flip the little guards back. Once you get all the cushions snapped into place, then it's time to get to lay down and relax. And enjoy the view. So while I have all the cushions up, let me show you all the storage options. There are three here. One on your left, one on the top, and then another deep one on your right. Let me show you all the additional storage there is in the back of the camper. There's a large storage up front here. It's pretty deep and there's a nice mirror. Then you have two sets of cabinets here. I still have a little bit of junk in here, but they are really nice size cabinets. There's a third set of cabinets at the bottom. It's definitely a pretty large space. However, typically most people put their portable restrooms down here. So I'm not gonna open this set of cabinets. There are so many different portable restrooms to choose from. So it's really important that you do your research before purchasing one, but just know there are a lot of options to choose from. And then there's another storage space below the fridge that is pretty nice and deep. That's also convenient for additional space. The last storage space is on the opposite side of cabinets and it's pretty large. Um, this is where I put the shower cord and the extension power cord, but you could also put other stuff in there as well. Next, let's talk about the amenities. My favorite is the fridge. This is not your standard three-way fridge. It doesn't run off propane. It runs off the 12 volt battery and land shore power if you're plugged in. It's really energy efficient, so that's great. And it keeps everything I put in it extremely cold. I'm always having issues with my three-way fridge in my camper. It never stays cold. It always drains the battery or the propane. This just runs off the batteries that are charged by the solar panels on the roof. So this is especially great when I'm off grid. On the opposite side, we have the sink and the stove. So the sink is pretty standard. You just slip this up like this and then you have hot and cold, put it back down. And then you have extended counter space, which is awesome because the more counter space, the better. Then you have a two burner propane gas stove. You just flip this up. There are two knobs for each burner. You definitely need a barbecue lighter. Other than that, it's pretty standard. You just light it, cook, turn it off close it. So there are two fans. They're pretty standard. So I think I said that there are two fans. There's actually one fan and one vent above the bed, but the fan is great. It's got a knob to open and close it and inward and outward. So the air comes in or the air goes out and then a speed control knob. This is the vent that's just above the bed and it just has a knob to control opening and closing it. Inside here are two six volt batteries connected to make 12 volts. They're also recharged by the solar panel on the roof and they provide plenty of power for everything in the camper. As I mentioned, the solar panel on the roof, this is the solar charge panel and it shows all the information you need. This is your heater. As you can see, you can spin this around to direct heat flow, which is really nice when you're really cold at night and you jump into your camper and you just want all the heat. Here's your thermostat, really easy to use. I have it off right now. And the hot water switch right here, you can flip it on and this starts to heat up your hot water tank. Here's your wall sockets, your 12 volt battery socket and USB ports. These two only work when you're connected to shore power. The USB and the 12 volt, however, work off the battery. 
Here's your battery monitor and fresh water tank monitor. As you can see, I have a full battery, but I'm lacking on fresh water. I took too many showers. Gotta refill that. And then you have your water pump switch. Right below that, we have the circuit breakers and fuses. Nothing too exciting. Inside here is your water pump and all the valves that you use when you want to winterize or empty your tanks. Down here, we have the carbon monoxide and propane detector. Lastly, on this little panel right here, we have all the light switches that are right next to the door. One more time for reference, this is the wall with all the control panels. So I think that covers everything on the inside of the camper. Remember, these are completely customizable to your preference. There's several models and layouts to choose from. You can even start with the shell model and add only what you need or build it out later. You can add air conditioners, those would be run off shore power or a generator, but it's always an option. This can be completely customizable to your own home on the road or your adventures. I leave it up to you. Okay, now I'm gonna show you the outside of the camper, but first, why don't you check out the sunset behind me? I don't want you to miss it. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at this crazy guy. <laughs> That's so cool, into the sunset. Next adventure. So on the outside of the camper, there's a couple features. This is the outside of the hot water heater. This is where you insert potable water or hook up to city water. This is the gray water outlet pipe. So a lot of people attach a, a hose and then put a gray water bag so that it fills your gray water. This will be hot. See the hot? This is the exhaust for your actual heater. And then this is your external power supply. This is for when you wanna hook up to shore power. It just plugs in right here. Lastly, one of my favorite features is the hot camper has an outdoor shower and it's really easy to use. You just take the shower hose, flip open the port, line the nozzle up, and then you just move it right and left for hot and cold. And then you push on the handle for water pressure. Perfect for when you go to a hot spring and you wanna take a nice hot shower after. Optionally, you can get an outdoor shower tent to pop up and shower in for additional privacy. On this side, you have two panel doors. This one is additional storage. The second door is for the propane tanks. As you can see, there are two of them and this Hawk is great. It just sips on the propane. It barely uses any propane, which is awesome because then I don't have to constantly be filling up the tanks. So this is what the Hawk four-wheel camper looks like popped up. It's great because it's low profile and great for off-roading, but then when you're ready to camp, you can pop it up and sleep comfortably. I'm gonna go enjoy this beautiful sunset. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future videos and thanks so much for watching.